Hi, and welcome to this section of the Basic Math Word Problem Tutor. And in this section, we're going to switch gears and uh, start talking about percents, word problems that involve percents. And in fact, this section is what I call Percents Part 1. That will kind of have some, some, some problems dealing with percents, sort of easing into it. And then the next section will be Percents Part 2, which will just be some additional problems uh, that are of a little bit different type. But I want to ease into it and make sure we, we really understand this because percents you know, the, the, the truth of the matter is, if you understand what a fraction is, and we've been dealing with fractions for the last several sections, then you already understand what a percent is. It's just that uh, you may not know that you understand what a percent is. So I'm going to show you that a percent and a fraction really the exact same thing. If you understand what a fraction is, then you definitely already understand what a percent is. So the first thing to remember is that the word percent, percent means per 100. Uh, that's what it means if you actually literally translate it. Percent means per 100. So when I say I have 50% of something or 25% of something or 10% of something, okay, what I'm saying is that I'm taking that number, 10%, 20%, 30%, and comparing it to 100. So just like any fraction, you take the top number and you're comparing it to the bottom parts of a whole. Well, in percents, it's just that the bottom number, what you're comparing it to, is always 100. Okay, so when I say 50%, I'm saying 50 out of 100, or 50 over 100, or what I say 25%, I'm comparing it to 100, so it's 25 over 100. So it's actually easier in a way, because the word percent means over 100, or compared to 100, or out of 100. So if you understand that, then the rest of it is going to naturally come. So percents can be expressed in terms of a fraction, because... 11% is 11 over 100, 11 out of 100, 11 over 100. That's a fraction. It can also be expressed as a decimal, and I'll show you how in just a second as well. So the, the fraction, uh, I'm sorry, the percent with the little percent symbol, and a fraction and a decimal, they all can mean the same thing. So 11% can be expressed as a fraction. I'll show you that in a minute. And that can also be expressed as a decimal. But they're all expressing the same thing. It's just different ways of saying the same thing. It's kind of like you look at a, a, a vase of flowers. You can say it's beautiful. You can say it's wonderful. You can say it smells great. You can say it's pretty. You can say all these different words that really just means that the, the flowers are they're, they're nice, okay? Which is another word yet, again, okay? Well, with percents, you know, you can express a percent with that little like, percent symbol. You can express it as a fraction. You can express it as a decimal. It's just different ways of saying the same thing, okay? So, just a little bit of review before we actually get into any word problems. Remember that, for instance, 11%, okay, that just means 11 over 100. That, that's all it means, okay? So anytime you see a percent symbol, it just means per 100, which means 11 over 100. And, you know, if you were to take a pie and chop it up into 100 pieces, which I can't do, chop it up into 100 pieces, and take 11 of them away, that would be 11%. 11 per 100. 11 out of 100. That is what percent means. They just invent this fun, funny looking symbol to tell you that you're talking about 11 out of 100. Okay? Now, you can also express it as a decimal. Okay? So 11% is also 0.11. And the way that you do that is, because it's 11 out of 100, if you were to actually do this division, which, by the way, any fraction is division, if you were to take 11 and divide it by 100, the answer you would get would be 0 0.11. Okay? So you can do that with any fraction to get it into a decimal, but the quick and dirty way is just to look at the percentage.